Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this session, we are going to see how to implement in-memory database in Entity Framework Core using .NET Core 6.0. I already created a video on how to implement database first approach on ASP.NET Core 3.1. If you want to visit this video, I will give the link on video description as well as the i button. You can check it out. But today we are going to see using .NET Core 6.0 and in-memory database. So Entity Framework Core or EF Core simplifies data access in .NET Core application and allow you to write the perform the crowd operations, create, read, update, delete. So we are going to today we are going to see create and read. If time allows, then we will going to see update and delete also. And these operations also it's happen without directly interacting with the underlying database provider. The entity framework core in memory database providers allow us to use entity framework within the in memory database for testing. So remember, if you ask why in memory, because if we close the application or the we restarted our, our server or our application server. So the, our memory will lapse. So why in memory? It due for only for testing. The EF core in memory database provider let us store and retrieve data to and from in memory. Just to remember, this provider was designed for testing purpose only. So today we are going to see a product table, and these are the table properties. I am going to store a ID which is a GUID. A primary key, product name, string, category, and price. So we are going to create this table for in-memory database. And in the coming session, we will going to migrate the in-memory database to our SQL Server implementation. Okay. So if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and ring the bell icon because you don't want to miss the future session also. And if you ended up liking my video. Give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let's get started. So I'm going to use Visual Studio 2022 or 2022. Let's create a project. When you're going to use .NET Core Web API, so. EF core in memory demo, click on next. No need of HTTPS, click on create. And we are also going to use the NuGet package Microsoft.entity framework core dot in memory. So I'm going to use this command to tell this package. Okay, application got created. Go to tools, NuGet package manager, the console. Which will open the PM console. In the package management console, let's hit okay, it got installed. Next, let's add our own model, which is giving data model. I'm going to give agile display for ID, product name, category, and price. So here I am adding a class. Okay, it will just hit control. So it will data annotation. We need to add this one, right? Next, we are going to create DB context. So I'm going to add a new folder here. So 
So I have added a GUID ID which is GUID and I am adding this as a key because I am using entity from our core and the DB set it's always asks for a key. Okay. Next I am going to add a DB context. So I created a folder database context. I am going to add a class here. So the class name will be let's say database context or I'm giving my database context let's say and it will inherit from db context so just hit control load okay using entity framework code okay next here I'm going to add a override a particular on configuring model okay protected void override here option builder I am using huge in memory database which is this is the product DB I am going to tell what is the database name product DB and here I am creating the DB set of my product database data model so it will ask for a using statement right so our database context also created now let's go to the controller we need a controller i'm giving a controller name a api controller here i'm giving the api controller name as product controller i no need of this route so i'm giving a http get my own route I am giving I am wrapping through a tag which is I action result same name as my route okay and it will return list of this product data model okay. before that we need to go to program.cs file after the art swagger z we need to add our service which is db content service so builder dot service dot r db context so it will be my this db context right control dot using statement added done now here i am going to add a read only statement here this particular db context so here i need a using statement control dot right next i'm going to create a constructor here public passing the same value right so now in the get product list i'm going to write return ok await dot product dot to list right let's run the application and see how it is behaving okay we got our application running so this is our get product list try it out execute so you can see we are getting response body as blank because in our in memory database it does not have any data let's do a post operation and save the record right so i am going to create one more api which is about to post 
and and I'm giving post product this will be post products next is I'm going to create one more model which will be working as a external model so I'm giving a creating a model model and which will be product model and it will be create only having these three properties right so and in the product controller i am expect accepting this data so in the post api i am posting my product model which is newly created these three properties again i am creating product data model which is our entity framework db set properties next is i am assigning the data and db context product dot r product context dot set changes and returning this product data model with the new gui id okay let's run the application and see it's working or not so we will get our in memory data completely so let's go to get product list try it out execute so we have blank now let's go to post product try it out so i'm giving desktop and category is hardware price will be 3000 so execute so we got our data right now i'm giving one more mouse and plus will be 200 execute okay now try the get data here so you can get we are getting our list so in this way we can implement in memory database which is useful for testing purpose in dotnet core 6.0 guys in our coming session we are going to see how to migrate this data to sql server implementation so please stay tuned and if you like my video give me a like thank you very much